Hey, what is going on everybody? Scott Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. We're playing some more Civ 6. Um, so I've left it a few days since I recorded the last episode. Um, I've had some feedback. Uh, some of it useful, some of it not. I've had some feedback and uh, we're good to go. I'm a little bit worried about how slow things are at the moment. Um, in terms of we're on turn 49, 39. We haven't really made any progress towards our religion. Admittedly, we've had some barbarian issues going on. Um, but you get that all of the time. Um, so I think uh, I think we just need to, to focus. What I've, what I've got going on here is I've set our cities to produce uh, food more than they are producing um, production just so we can boost our growth, which means we're going to have an extra person working, which is going to help. That's going to then hit us because when we build a settler, we're going to lose a pop. So we're going to we're going to go from uh, four to three once we produce this settler. But but then we can move this settler over here and I'm a little bit worried about how how we lack in production uh, and looking at these two cities all right we've got some forest down here which we could turn into lumber but i think from our point of view this one looks like a food based city whereas this one maybe we could we could turn into production once we get these other tiles around here but i think we're going to head over this way because we need to choose a pantheon and i think the pantheon we're going to choose uh, it was a toss up i wasn't 100% sure uh, we over here as our as our leader Tiaraman, Tiara of Averman. For God's sake, I still don't know what it is. Um, <laughs> we uh, we don't know what we're going to do. So we get um, extra food from holy sites and housing if it's on a river. Um, and they trigger a culture bomb so our borders grow. I believe that's what culture bomb is. Um, we also get extra faith. I'm not really sure what this is. I think once we get to this, this is a unique building. I think once we get to this, we'll figure it out. Um, but um, we, I, I'm not sure if this get you get free food plus one amenity from entertainment to each city with an aqueduct so we need an aqueduct uh, and farms then do additional two food so you know i think there's a there's a few i'm not sure how useful that is i mean once you've got it i'm sure it sounds useful but it feels like we need to build a lot of stuff to get to the point of being of those being useful um i was gonna go with uh, the river goddess i think what was was that the one? Oh no hold on um there was there was one down here i can't remember which one we were talking about one down here which um gives extra faith from being on rivers which one was it um oh here we go if we have a plus two amenities plus two housing if they have holy site adjacent to a river which obviously what we're saying from our our um our special up here is that's what we want to do we want to put them on rivers so there's kind of a double whammy there but the other thing is this one down here earth goddess plus two faith from all tiles with breathtaking beauty now at the moment we don't have any of those but if we build over here then this looks like a great place for a, a campus. If we build here, then we've got these tiles, which are breathtaking, I believe. Maybe not this one, but these ones here certainly are. Um, maybe just that one. And then down here, we've also got some uh, some breathtaking tiles as well, I believe. You know, sort of working their way down the coastline. So a city here feels like it would be huge with that one. So I think with that, and over here, there's some more. I believe. So I think, you know, it's, it's not going to be the be all and end all, but I think it's going to be kind of a nice little innate boost to, to stuff as we do it. So that's what we're going to go for. We're going to found this pantheon. Okay, we're working towards a religion, earn our great profit points. We can't do that until we've got um, until we've got some holy sites. So we can't do that just yet. Um, what were we doing? We were looking at these barbarians who seem to be uh, causing me some pain. Um, I'm going to head you this way. Can I get a shot in? I can. Nice. I don't know if we need to be taking out this scout. I think we need to be heading down here to deal with the uh, the barbarian camp. But I think there's also one over this way, which is a bit of a pain. He's going to run off. Um, I presume he's going to eventually find our city. We're going to have you guys heal up a little bit. Someone else has completed Stonehenge. That's not ideal. And I guess we'll get heading you down this way because we want to get to this and try and keep an eye out. Uh, so some of the tips I got was to not move people too far forward. Obviously, I've just done that, but... I guess the problem with that is if I was to move someone here, if this was to take sort of one one turn as such, there could be people just standing here waiting for me and I've got no way of retreating or or attacking or anything else. So um, I think that, that makes good sense. Um, what else have we got going on? We've got a settler being produced in 10 uh, turns. And I think what we can do now is we can turn this off and maybe focus on production. What are we thinking? Why do these things change... Oh, I guess that's if people... I've never noticed that, if people are working them. 
Okay, so maybe we'll just leave this as is now. Um, is there an argument to be to be pushing production right now? Or do we just go with it? An extra turn, I think we do it. And over here, we're waiting for you to, to grow one more turn. So I think that's fine. Uh, we're working towards archery, which will be nice to be able to boost this uh, this slinger. Let's continue. Our scout is coming back this way. I think we'll then head him down here. Interesting. Looks like those uh, those guys are running away. Okay, so we've got some spearmen. Not a fan of this. Um, so your attack range is one. You are going to give us a victory, but I guess if we attack with you first, not ideal. If we attack these guys, we may stop them from killing killing the warriors. I'm not sure. Or do we just hit this dude? I don't know. Maybe we move here and we fortify. That might help us. Okay. Have I got to move my scout? We'll keep clear of those, those barbarians chasing that builder. He's running off to tell his buddies, I think. Ouchie. I was kind of hoping they'd attack our warriors. Um, but never mind. Okay, let's uh, let's go again. Good, good. Okay, so we need a bit of a rest. I don't know if we're going to get that, but... We, uh, we can see there's no one down here. Taking this fairly quickly would be good, but there could be people around it. We just need to be a little bit careful. Five turns for our settler, 24 turns for, for this, but we should now be uh, back on here. So I think if we remove these, well, we got 16 turns for a, and it doesn't matter how much we put in here. Five turns for growth. I think we just need a builder. How much money have we got? 131. I think builders are like 200 and something. Yeah, we could get a scout. That's not going to help us. I think we keep going with food over here for now. I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. It's still going to take a long time for those settlers. Um, I'm getting a builder in might help us. Oh, look, he's back. The forces of evil become confused. Okay, uh, do we go and improve our, our scout? We probably should. Our scout, our, our, our slinger. Um... I feel sorry for this little dog that just runs off into the distance. You could stay with us, buddy. Oh, he just disappears. It's even worse. Okay, we get to choose some research. What are we thinking over here? Uh, kill free barbarians. So we've got bronze working. We've got horse riding. Uh, but have we got any horses? We will have at some point. Uh, sailing, I guess we don't need right now. Um, science might be nice. Meet another civilization. So we, we've got a few. I don't know if it really makes much difference. Let's go with the old science for now. Um, right, I really want you guys to... Well, I want someone to come down here and take this, but I also want to rest up a little bit. Okay, so this is like a great location for a campus. Um, let's keep going. Do I move these guys down? I don't know. Let's hope there's no barbarians around. Okay, good. Okay, that's nice. We needed that. Okay, so we destroyed a camp. We're still heading for a dark age unless we uh, we get some more points. But uh, let's head back towards these towns for now, I think. It could mean a barbarian camp spawns over here, but I think we just have to, we have to rest up and recover a little bit. We could get attacked by this. By this scout, I don't know if he's likely to do that, but I want to scout out the rest of these mountains here because uh, I'm going to guess these are charming. Again, this shouldn't be the be all and end all of our cities, but I think uh, getting another city down with these breathtaking tiles will be useful. Okay, one more turn for a settler, and we need to figure out where he's going. And you can go back that way. We 
now have the opportunity to appoint a governor to our civilization. This governor will be a powerful and productive asset when assigned to one of our cities. Okay. I suggest we choose a candidate as soon as possible. Hey, thanks, for, thanks very much. Oh, jeez, she's still talking. Our government buildings. We may only zone one of these in our empire, so choose carefully. We'll bear it in mind. Thanks, love. Okay, let's uh, let's have a little look. So I just got to move up my uh, OBS. Okay, there we go. Uh, Pedro, I didn't mean to speak to you, buddy. Sorry, mate. Right, what have we got going on? So we need to choose a governor. We've got. I guess, I don't. I don't normally. I, I guess a lot of people go for Magnus because you get the boost of uh, removing plots. Um, but I wonder if if we go with these guys. Yeah, you know, we're going for religion, but does do we have to focus straight on religion straight away? I don't know if we do. Let's go Magnus, uh, although I'm not planning on clearing that many tiles. Um, I'm sure I will at some point, but... What are we thinking? I don't know. I don't know what the right, right way to go. We've not got a religion, so you are going to be pointless at the moment. Let's go Magnus. Um, where are we putting Magnus? We've got some... We said this was going to be food, but we still need... We still need religion over here, right? Sorry, we still need production over here. I guess we just put you in in here for now i don't know if it really matters our governor is now on their way to their assigned city a okay. strong economy begins with a strong well-educated workforce okay so we can change our policies do we want to um plus one production in all cities might not be a bad shout but we can't put it here because again we're going for faith um 30% production towards builders. You know, we've got a pantheon. We're not going to do anything with faith until we've got until we've got the holy site, right? We're going to need builders. Let's do it. Do we go with that? Do we? Continue? I think we stick with the barbarians because I know we're going to see more, right? Okay. You come over this way. You come down this way because we want to check out what we've got over here. And you head over towards this dude. Okay. Is there a place that you think is? Yeah, I was thinking here as well. This seems like a pretty good, a pretty good spot to me. Um, I'd like to get something on the coast. A little bit worried about this city being being uh, sacked when the when the water level rises so maybe over here i think we head you this way and we head you this way choose a civic okay early empire seems like uh seems like the plan that gives us a boost towards settlers that we're going to need some more of okay holy site i think we i think we have to don't we so holy sites get uh, get benefits from being placed in particular locations. We can see here there's a plus one. If we were to put it here, we'd get a plus two. Um, I can't remember. Is there a way? If I go back to this, does it tell me um, plus two faith from each natural wonder tile, from grassland mountain tiles, um, from plains mountain tiles? So all of the mountains adjacent to two woods. Well, we could do that down here, but that means we lose the resource. Um, adjacent to two districts well we could potentially at some point get a couple of districts in here um adjacent to a government tile which we might well be placing down here as well um so i think we go here you know we could move it one this way but i think we go here okay so that's going to happen eight eight turns for that 12 turns for growth i think that's fine we're getting close to build it, buying a builder, are we? Um, I think. A trader. I don't know if there's a benefit to get a trader ahead of a builder. We, I think we go builder first. Okay, let's get you in there. We could upgrade you to uh, an archer, but I think we'll fortify you until you're healed. And we'll send you this way just for, for this. Oh, am I meant to... I've moved to scout quite possibly. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. Thanks, Mark Twain and Sean Bean. You guys are you guys are awesome. Right, let's keep running away from this scout. Um, 
need to choose a research. What are we thinking? I don't know. Again, I don't know if it makes too much difference. Allows the harvesting of stone. Well, we don't really have any at the moment, um, which is a bit of a pain. We are lacking a little bit for for, for some resources. Um, I guess we'll uncover some as we go. Um, I don't know. I don't know if there's a ancient walls feels like a wise idea, but we need to build a quarry for that. We're potentially not going to have a city where we can. Um, let's do bronze working for now. Okay, you. You go here. You go here. A little bit worried about what's over this river and how much how much desert is here. In all honesty, you're you're resting. You haven't got uh, amenities, but I don't think there's a lot I can do um, about this. That's yeah, very good. Leave the exploring to me. I will, mate. You you keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> okay. I don't think there's much more we can do right now. Might move you one more tile down here so we can at least see. And we want you to go there. I don't think there's anything else we want to do right now. Would like to to boost you, but let's buy a uh, a builder. Perfect. Okay. So do we do we have ir is it irrigation that we need for this? I don't know if we have it or not. That's harvesting of stone. We must have right. Let's move you here for now. Again, I'm not sure what the right approach to improve these things are. Getting some farms down will be good to, to boost the uh, the growth. But we also need... Um... Okay, so there's not a lot this way. If we were here, one, two, three, we could get these fish as well. One, two, three, we won't be able to get these. But I think this looks good to me. Let's do it. I do like this because this tells you what's what's beneficial and what's not. So no new resources, um, but we do get fresh water, regional yield, inner ring yield, and nearest city. So I think I think we'll we'll go here. Um, you can continue. I guess we've got this big mountain range down here. I guess we want to send you this way, right? Uh, and I will move you back into here. So we need a production. Um, what are we thinking? Probably a, another builder, right? We'll have our archer situated somewhere between the two of these, being able to run from one to another. Uh, you've got five turns to your holy site. You've got nine turns to a builder, which is a bit annoying. Okay. Okay, well, hopefully that's going to improve soon because this build is going to start doing some, some stuff. But civilizations have uncovered new technologies and civics, and soon the world itself will reach the dawn of a new era. Our actions in this era may lead us into a golden age for our civilization, or perhaps darker days lie ahead. Okay, thanks. So, end of the uh, the ancient thing in 10 turns. Interestingly, I, I forgot to mention this. I, obviously not knowing anything about the Chimera Empire, I went and did some some research. Um, I didn't, I had no idea. I genuinely, I'd seen the, the Angkor Tom before, Angkor Wat, sorry, uh, before and had no idea what it was. I didn't realise it was in Cambodia. Um, so I watched a couple of like YouTube documentaries on it. Very interesting. I've, I've, I'm sure as we go through, some of those things will come up. But um, yeah, our leader, Tiara, Tiara of them and the seventh, um, by all accounts, like the, the people of the civilization thought he was a, a living deity. And they believe a lot of the stuff that he managed to achieve, he managed to achieve because people thought he was genuinely a god. Um, really quite interesting. Anyway, um, what are we doing? So do we want to, we can clear the resource. So if we'd have put whatever his name is down here, we'd have, we'd have done reasonably well here. I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with coming here and doing this to begin with. Um, I also don't think there's anything wrong with us fortifying you. Maybe just here, just to to give ourselves a little bit of, of, of movement between the two. Um, again, there's an argument to move them down here, but then we lose all of the production that this city has, which worries me a little bit. Um, 
There's an argument to be buying tiles down here, right? I mean, we could send you over here. This city looks like it's going to be quite productive as well. Um, but there's also an argument to be moving down here and getting this when this uh, when this happens. What do you need to harvest sugar? Let's find out. I'm so, I, you know, when it comes to this game, there must be so much stuff that I could do to be more economical with my turns, to, to be more productive at this stage, but I have no idea what they are. So again, if you if you know what they are, please tell me. Three turns to bronze working, uh, four turns to early empire, which I think will, uh, will help quite a lot as well with some of these things in terms of builders uh, requiring less and, uh, sorry, settlers requiring less. Uh, let's get you healed up. Let's keep you heading that way. Anything else we want to do? I don't think so. I'm just going to fortify you here. I think the next thing we'll do is we will we will boost you. Okay, our governor has now been founded in here, so it's not really giving us any benefit at the moment. You're heading back this way. Oh, come on. The good news is this drought hasn't affected. I think, I think natural disasters are on the normal setting. So the good news is it hasn't affected this tile. Um, but... What, it's the third one in in 50 turns? Maybe the fourth one? It's not ideal. Um, Ten more turns of drought. Ouchie. Okay, 20 turns for a builder over here. Um, do we want to do anything about that? I don't think we can. I don't know if it matters. Okay, what are you working on? You're working on your holy site. Again, we could boost this up and work on this to get the holy site a little bit quicker. Let's do it. We want to get that holy site up, right? And you're working on your builder. Okay, and you're heading down here to, to work this tile, uh, which will give us so much more food, which means growth should be, should be quicker. I'm interested in creating a lasting legacy because bronze will last for thousands of years. Okay. Now what do we want? Again, I think it's worthwhile only doing the things where we've got the Eurekas uh, so we can see if we can do anything else. We've got some iron up here, which is huge, I think. If we can get these tiles, then we're going to get lots of production and potentially a reasonable place for a uh, industrial um, site, potentially. Um, okay, what have we got going on? with you um, because we, we are looking to found on rivers wherever we can so I think having a water mill in some of these places will will be good um, how much is a trader 205 we're not going to get there before the end of the era I don't think but we could build one and then send him out to once again we have the opportunity to enhance our powers of governance we can use it to promote one of our existing governors, or we can appoint another new governor to our civilization. Okay. Um, Look back over the past with its changing empires that rose and fell, and you can foresee the future too. I think we're going to go... And I don't know what. Some of these don't seem that strong, especially not for now. Um, this doesn't seem like a bad shout. Getting extra science doesn't seem like a bad shout or culture. Um, buying tiles, not sure that's going to help us hugely at this moment in time. All builders get an extra turn. That feels like a good a good call. We're not going to get you in in time. That's the problem. But I think we put you over here. Look back over the past with its changing empires that rose and fell. Okay, do we want to change any policy? So reduce the costs of purchasing a tile. Uh, plus two lower. 50% uh, towards... So I can't change the government yet, which would be... 
really useful. Um, but settlers or builders, we're currently building builders, so I think we stick with what we've got for now. Choose a civic. What do we want? Um, military tradition. Mysticism. That feels like a a big shout over here for our holy our holy ambitions. Okay, so we've got a holy site built. Uh, we could build a shrine, which is going to give us extra points and great profit points. And that's what we need to get to where we're trying to get to. Um, what else can we build? A trader in five turns. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I genuinely don't know what the right thing to do is. I think getting the great profit points would be wise. Because that will boost us towards a religion, which is what we want. Again, I, I don't know why I'm focusing so much on religion. I never do, and I think that's probably why. I never, ever play the religious game. Um, so I think I think just trying to go for that, and I don't know what's right and what's wrong. I think we're going to go trader over here. We're going to get you to build this. Beautiful. We're getting extra faith from down here. I have no idea why that's the case, but nice. Um, when do you get extra faith from sugar? Does anyone know? Okay, so we've still got to build a, I guess a farm seems like a wise move. Maybe buying this tile to put some uh, some rice down. Buying things before we go up a... a um, era is, is wise because they're cheaper I think so we could get down here and get uh, some some rice a bonus resource and the food from it um, or additionally getting these up and running seems like a, a wise idea 18 turns for a builder over here it doesn't matter what we do to, to assist that So we don't have anyone working this because we're working on getting our settler. If I was to change this to food now, it would be two turns for our builder, sorry, not our settler. I'm less worried about that because we can send the builder over here once once this one's done. So I think working this feels, feels like a, a wiser move right now, getting it back to normal. Seven turns. Well, we want to try and get you out fairly soon, right? Um, so I think building you is wise. This is going to improve in one time. I think we think about sending our builder up here. Okay, and you're going to rest until you're healed. I don't think there's much more for us to do other than kind of just keep playing this out a little bit. So we are getting extra faith from over here because this is breathtaking and here. And I think as we expand down here as well, um, I'm going to move you here. So you're kind of in and around these two cities. Um, and I think I'll, yeah, we'll keep you where you are. We need more housing over here. We've got... I was going to head you this way. You've got one charge left. I was going to head you this way to uh, to work on this mine to give us more production up here. But maybe there's an argument to be working on the farm. Hmm. So what does it say? Five or four housing. Growth is slowed while we haven't got enough housing. And if we build a house, we get 0.5 of a, a house. So that's not going to be enough. Sorry, a farm. We get 0.5. I think we move you up here. Okay, four turns for our settler. I don't know if there's a way that we can get extra era score right now we are beginning to attract the attention of the great people of the world of course there are other leaders vying for their attention too okay the more specialized districts we construct 
the more we will draw in specialized great people to share their talents with our civilization. I advise that we continue to build these. Thanks for that. Okay, what are we thinking? Let's get you heading this way. Oh no. Did I know that was there already? I don't know. Let's get you moving away if we can. Um, do I send you this way? I guess I do for now, but we should be able to deal with this. We can also upgrade you. I was hoping to save the money, but I think we we do upgrade you because there's probably a, an era score for killing a barbarian with archers. I'm not sure. Um, okay, what are we thinking down here? We've got our extra builder. Um, settler would be nice. Granary is going to give us extra food and housing. Holy site would be nice as well, but we're so badly here, bad at producing things down here. Okay. I think we have to send you this way just for support for now. Oh no. This isn't ideal, is it? Hey, good work, buddy. Get you running back in here for now, I think. Let's hope they're not planning on stealing my, um, my builder. What are we going to get you to do? I can't build, um, anything on these to boost production right now, which is a shame. I'm going to send you over here, I think. And we'll have you continue to come this way. You've done what you need to do. Okay. Look at these dudes. Okay, let's move you back one. Get rid of this dude. Okay, let's bring you this way. Keep moving you this way. Okay, another world wonder has been built. You're going to do that. Perfect. Okay. We're still not where we need to be from a an era point of view, which is a pain. Okay. Our people know this new resource may be essential for building certain military units, and they have begun to stockpile it for future use. We should manage our use of this resource to make the most of it. Okay. Don't reinvent the wheel. Just realign it. Okay. So our governor's now established over here, so that should help with our... I can't remember what your, your deal was. All builders get extra charges, so that's good news. We were sending a builder over here to do some work, right? So we may as well do a farm on this tile. We want to send you somewhere, I guess anywhere that's going to, I mean, extra food and stuff internally, but extra money sounds like a wise idea. In addition to bringing riches to our civilization, this trade route will gradually develop roads between our cities. Roads allow our units to no longer be impaired by the difficult terrain through which they pass. Okay. These guys in range, they are, that's good news. And I guess we get you to run back in, back in the border. Perfect. We'll just keep, we'll keep teasing them where we can. And we'll move you forward. What are you working on next? I guess getting some mines up for these guys would be, would be wise. More research. Okay, make a trade route. So we've done that. We can research this. 
the markets and commercial hubs. Swordsman doesn't sound like a horrendous shout. Okay. Right, what are we going to build over here? Shrine, campus. I think we go shrine. Hey, let's keep going. Um, again, I'm not sure what what the right approach should be here. Where I feel like we're kind of just stalling for time. The time has come to choose which of our accomplishments to commemorate. Oh, we're in a dark age. History marches forward. Oh, we're in a dark age. Okay, we're in a classical era. Would have been nice to be in a. We have an envoy at our disposal. Okay. Like to say I <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot going on. I'm absolutely sure of some things that I don't quite know. Okay, what have we got? We still want this builder's one going, but we could. Well, we can't put any of these things in here just yet. Because we haven't got the, the government for it. We need, to, we need to find a government. Okay, make dedication. So we're in a dark age. Okay, you for inquiry one inquiry dedication bonus gains one year score every time you trigger a eureka. So that's the one that we normally go for. Um, and two year score every time you convert a city to your founder religion for the first time. That feels like it's going to be a little bit tough. Um, new speciality district. Well, we want to get to that, but I think the era score one kind of just happens naturally. Let's go with that. We have fallen into a yeah, all right. We hear you. Okay, let's choose a civic. Um, what do we want? This one feels like the wise idea. We get the extra government, which is going to help us. Uh, we can send a, a person out. We haven't really got any. I think I'm going to hold on to my envoy for now, I think. Oh, could I have upgraded you, I wonder? Okay, our builder's over here ready to build a mine. Um, what are we on? Turn 61. Stop running away from me. Okay, let's, let's get a mine out here. Watch out for that giant crab, buddy. What's this? Maze. So this is, uh, this is one of the new resources from the Frontier Pack. No idea how you, uh, how you deal with that. Whoops. Okay, I don't think there's anything else for us to do. Um, shrine is happening. This is all happening. Can I just attack these dudes? Oh, I can. Nice. So we dealt with some barbarians. Let's uh, let's send you back this way. I'm going to send you back this way, and we're going to keep the scout moving along this way. Okay, and the welcome rainfall in our area. That's nice. Got 116 bucks. What else do we want to do with you? The, the pasture? Eleven turns till growth. What are you what are you working on? Six turns to growth. Okay, I think we go with this and we get you to go and do the the pasture over here, I think. I'm sniffing around my stuff, Bologna. Um, right. It'd be nice to, to span down here a little bit, although there's not a lot down here. It'd be nice just to kind of seal this area off a little bit and then definitely up here is somewhere we want to go and up here to try and branch out and then it'll be interesting to see what we've got over here okay you guys are going to head back you're going to wander off and explore this way and i think we're going to wrap this one up sometime in the 
very near future. Okay, you finish your builders. You can do your pasture over here. Not that we've got people working these. I think that's one thing I would say. Because we don't have people working these, so we're not really gaining anything from it. Um, 14 turns to growth would be nice to have something over here. Um, do we want to come back down here and try and do something with this stuff? Does it make sense to come over here and work this? Maybe do this one on the way. That was a misclick. Right, okay. What do we want you to work on next? If anyway, it's going to take forever. A campus over here somewhere would be good. Um, a holy site over here would be good. Hmm. This feels really good for a campus, but since we're going holy, maybe we just bite the bullet and go here. Every two adjacent districts. So we could put the holy, the campus here and the holy site somewhere else. This is still going to give us plus one. This would have been really good. Up here would be good if we bought this tile. Um, this is next to another holy site, so there may be an argument that that's beneficial. I don't know. Desert tile we're not going to be able to do anything with. I think I might put it over here. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. This is the thing. I get into this situation where I'm like, I can see the three. That's clearly beneficial, but... We're not going, you know what, we're going religion. Let's do it. Okay. Fine. You're working on a shrine. You're working on a granary. You guys are heading back. You are going to explore a little bit more, right? Around the coast. Okay, we've discovered iron working. Iron ore cannot be educated into gold. Okay, thanks for, thanks for that. Um, this feels like a reasonable place to, to call it quits, I think. Just discovered iron working. Let's have a little look at our next set of options to choose from. Uh, we've got uh, horseback riding. We've got quarries. Well, hopefully we'll get those relatively soon because there is one over here, um, which will give us a mirror score. We've got pastures, which, you know, we've done. So I think horseback riding feels like a, a good approach. Um, we do need more housing. Our roads have been upgraded. We need a production over here. What are we thinking? A campus? Probably wouldn't be why it wouldn't be bad. Um, do we go for a wonder? This feels like it would be really, really useful to us. But I don't think I just don't think we've got the production for it. Is the, is the problem. Another settler would be really wise, but I think changing our policies um, to work towards settlers would be would be better. We could do that and uh, get the gold, but we're, we're quite a way away from being able to change it. Maybe there's an argument to spend the gold on getting a settler um, and, and improving from there. We've got our builders down here. How many workers have we got going on over here? So this would be five turns to growth. How are you looking from a housing point of view? Eight or four. So growth doesn't feel like the worst option, right? What does that mean for if we wanted to produce something? 25 turns, 67 turns for the Oracle. Ugh. This isn't a bad shout, putting the, uh, the campus in here. Say what there was then an argument to maybe having our holy site around this way from over here instead, but um, okay, maybe a settler is the right thing to do. How much is a settler these days? 32 turns. Again, we need to get the production up over here, really.
Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. Holy Sight Prayers would get us points towards a great person sooner. Where's our, where's the uh, great profit? So yeah, we're quite a way off getting this. This will give us a boost of these though. So maybe there is an argument of just doing Holy Prayers to get there. Water mill is going to give us extra food and extra production, but I don't know if that's enough to, to warrant doing. Um, maybe a government plaza? Put that here and boost the old uh, holy site at some point, I'm sure. I don't know. I, don't, I genuinely don't know. Um, she is suggesting a campus. This is going to get rid of production though, and we need all of the production we can get. What tiles are we working? We're not, well, we're working for food at the moment. 12, 12 turns to, to border growth. Okay. Um, hmm. Government Plaza would be nice. So maybe, uh, This extra governor, governor tiles and so on and so forth. I think I'm going to go watermill. I think it's probably the wrong choice, but I think I'm going to go watermill. Oh look, we found a dude. We found some oranges over here. Looks like a pretty good place for for a city. The back end of these mountains, I'm going to guess, is pretty nice as well. That sounds that sounds wrong, but you know what I mean. Good work. Good work, boys. Now you guys can fortify in here. Do we want to build this? There's no one working it. That's the problem I've got with this. This will give us extra money. Extra money is, is extra good, right? I could also think about selling some of this iron. It does make everybody else stronger, but... I think we get you to build a mine here and then head over here to, to work on this one. Okay, we're going to wrap it up here. Um, again, we're, we're kind of slow on the on the progress, I feel, um, but I'm not sure if that's I'm not sure if that's true or not. Um, the focus is religion. We've got our first holy site. We've got a second one coming along. Uh, we are getting some some holy points from various other places as well does oh no does me moving this mean that this isn't breathtaking anymore oh no so we are getting some help from over there uh, okay i think we're gonna leave it here we'll try and get a settler over this way because there's more breathtaking appeal over this way as well uh, and maybe this side looks pretty nice for resources and um and getting some uh some more cities out it's going to be hard work i think to get anywhere with this one but let's have a little look what are we talking about for prices 280 for builders 560 for settlers um, there's a there's a barbarian builder up here we could try and steal him two charges left three charges left i don't think we're going to get there in time okay hanging gardens have been built glad we didn't start those thanks advisor um i think we're done um i'd love your your feedback again to, to know what i've done right what i've done wrong um, I feel like this is going very slowly, but uh, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.